Sagittarius, hey, I'm doing what's troubling them. So the question is intended um, to look at whoever you are thinking of and that you would know uh, has something on their mind, weighing on them. But it could also be maybe something positive, right? And they're just like <laughs> totally stoked. The cards will tell us what that is. So let's just jump in. I am really going for pop-outs tonight, so please um, be patient with the shuffling portions. This card, the lovers. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Okay, so in this particular kind of reading, um, so you're thinking about someone that is that has something on their mind that could be troublesome. So it could be in relation to you, but it could be in relation to someone else or something else, right? So bear that in mind. Let's draw the tarot and see what that is really and why. Wow many many cards here you're the only sign that got so many but i am going to take everything so there's three cards that came out first we have the two of swords the chariot in reverse and temperance in reverse and then there's another set of three cards and it's the knight of swords in reverse the four of wands in reverse and the sun <laughs> You've got three major arcanas uh, out of six cards. You're the only sign that got six cards. <laughs> so it's interesting. I'm without even really going too deep into the message, I'm tempted to, I want to maybe read the, first three cards as either them and then the other three cards as you or vice versa but it'll be like both angles both view viewpoints that's how I'm feeling this so let's look at what's really being said here though I'm saying that because we have the lovers on the table, so it, it's double side. It's two sided, right? It's it's obviously. Um... Okay, well, one side, wh whether that's them or you, um, someone is not moving like clearly. Um, you know, the chariot is in reverse. There's, there's no physical movement. There's no um, development. There's no news, uh, whether good or bad, like this. It's like, dee. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a straight line, right? And the two of swords here is this person's attitude is sort of, With the blindfold here, I feel the person is really turned inward. Um, they're basically compensating for the lack of movement. So by that, I mean that it probably uh, makes them really impatient and it creates like some kind of, it's not turmoil, but it does create um, a sense of aggravation inside of them, right? They're frustrated. It's, it's more the real, it's a, it's frustration because they can't go anywhere. And I feel that it's towards this lover. So whether you're the lover, right? <laughs> That's what it feels like. But what they're doing, the way they handle the, the, what's troubling them, what they actually are doing is totally um, going inside, kind of putting like the denial blindfold, right? Like, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, this is all good, you know, like, I got this, um, I can manage, but 
boiling inside with, you know, feeling frustrated and impatient and being affected, literally. They're just being affected. They're, they're not as peaceful as they wish about it, right? They wish they could just be Zen, but they're not. So that's one side. The other side, <laughs> it's funny. The other side is, is finding happiness in the smallest things, no matter what those are. Even when things aren't moving forward, there's no movement on their side either. And they also have a sense of things that are not being consolidated, that they do feel that there's something let's say, not so perfect about the whole thing, right? Yet they manage to keep, uh, you're not Zen, but they're managing to stay happy. So it's not so much about being Zen here. It's, it's simply going about their day in a much more optimistic, um, in a more optimistic and uh, vibe or But they're not, and the difference is whoever is doing the two of swords, the first person, whichever one that is, you or them, they're more in denial. The person with the sun card is not in denial. They're very clear about, okay, this is really not going anywhere. It's not going at the speed that I want. It doesn't feel very stable. It doesn't feel very uh, comfortable. It's less than perfect, so they're not in denial. They have their eyes wide open here. And maybe that's the key here, because they're really clear about what they're sensing, what they're feeling, and how, how they're assessing the situation. Maybe that is helping them stay happy, knowing that they can't control it fully, versus the person who's in denial who's just basically off balance and and feeling totally, you know, defeated about it. So one is basically pessimistic, the other one is optimistic, if I'm gonna summarize the, <laughs> the reading. <laughs> but it's about this love relationship. So they don't have, both of you, neither of you have the same way of looking at things, right? and in particular this relationship and where it's going or at least in the moment with what is actually happening which is no forward movement there's basically um things are at a are stalled stalemated we see that on four cards out of six so i'm gonna pick up that card apologies that's the guidance <laughs> <laughs> compromise <laughs> isn't that amazing it's a compromise to be had between the one that is overly um optimistic and the one that's overly pessimistic <laughs> both of you have to compromise and all overall the compromise is about the relationship making relationships are about com compromises always <laughs> every single second <laughs> um almost i'm exaggerating but you know what i mean so maybe that'll bring um what i'm sensing is compromising will actually trigger movement will actually trigger uh you know change and success and just will actually move the energy within the relationship and make it like shift grow need where it needs to go go where it needs to go i should say so it's really this is a huge word here to be uh, considered in this equation no matter which side you are on sad like if you're the one that's more optimistic or if you're the one that's more pessimistic okay so anyways uh, it is super specific. I knew that from asking the question at the start of the reading. I know. So if it's not your story, I apologize. You can come back on the channel for another message another time, of course. 
Um, and if it was resonating to you, if it meant anything, please like the video, share, subscribe to the channel, of course, and I'll see you soon. Good night. Thank you.